Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Godzilla, another monster verse uh, picture, Godzilla versus Ghidorah, um, the three-headed dragon sort of titan thing. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser for these and use your pause button if I go too fast. We'll start over here with Godzilla and we'll start with his face. So center point about here on my page, we just come over to the right a little bit and we're gonna start with his eye. So we'll do a sort of a diagonal, sort of eye kind of smallish eye just here. And can't really see much of his eye, so we'll just, we'll give him a sort of a, he's looking up sort of at Ghidorah right there. So you can just see like maybe his iris and pupil a little bit just there looking off that one and then around that we can see sort of like eyelid line and some eyelid lines underneath lots of these sort of texture lines because he's a you know he's a reptile so very scaly. Stuff like this, right? So then his brow, right? Like the front of his face kind of curves down and goes back around, right? So this is like his eye section and we just bring it back like this. And it goes up kind of towards the back of his head. And this is kind of bumpy. sort of scaly sort of top of his head all back this way and eventually as it goes back it starts to get a bit spiky back here right and then inside here so we've got like a section on the inside of his eye right so like comes down around the eye and goes back up towards the nose this is all like sort of dark in here or it can be dark, you know, it depends on if you're, if the lighting is different. So it's like a shadowy section inside his eye. And then out from the front of this, we'll do his snout. So it just comes out and down, right? Fairly square, you know, squarish anyway. And then his nostril is just in here. Just a line, sort of a little bit thicker on top, right? So his, we'll get the main shape for his head and then we'll add some details and then we'll do the neck and stuff, right? So his mouth kind of bumps back this way. So like a bumpy sort of line just for his teeth, right? So it goes all the way back here. Kind of comes down and curves maybe up this way a little bit, right? And then his teeth, you can't really see a gum line that much. You can just see the teeth coming right out of his scales. So, coming out of like the skin for his mouth just here. And some of them can be quite small on Godzilla. And I can be a bit of a gap between those back there, right? And we can see the underneath, the inside of his mouth, because his head is like tilted sort of back this way, right? So we can see just like the inside of his top of his mouth just in here, right? So there's like more teeth on the inside here. right into there and then we can add sort of a gum line teeth in there and maybe some like texture 
inside just for you know, the inside of the roof of his mouth, just what we can see anyway. So in like the side of his mouth, so that sort of uh, fleshy sort of thing that holds his mouth together, kind of here. And then the bottom jaw will start to come down this way. Right. So I've stopped the mouth here because his tongue sort of sticks out this way, right? So it's like his tongue will go back here and it kind of comes down like so. And it kind of sticks out a little bit here. It was back in behind some teeth, right? So his teeth, just these sort of spiking lines again. Like this and then like his bottom, bottom jaw comes down real square again. Down like so. And we'll bring it around. We can add his gum line as well, just down here. You know, and you can add um, details to his face, right? So we'll just finish his jaw. So it like comes up around here. It can be bumpy, scaly if you want. Or it can be smooth. I've seen it drawn lots of different ways. I've seen the character designed many different ways. So. You can style it up your own way if you want it. So as I said, details. So you can add some sort of bumps and texture, kind of like this. You know, lines like so. And then around up on the top of his face, right? So we got like um, some sort of lines just around his nose, coming around here. And then he's got those sort of, I don't know, facial lines. I don't know what you'd call them really, but they just like come down. Around and eventually join like the scales back here. So they like go up underneath his face. And there can be a few of these, you know, they just come down around. And they're done different ways sometimes. It's not always, you know, the same, so. And these can have texture on them as well. Generally, they're done like that on Godzilla anyway. And you can do as much of this detail as you'd like, but I think I'll leave it there. Okay, so then, uh, let's see. So maybe a couple more lines just here and then we'll start to do the spikes sort of on his back, right? So these are kind of spiking, scaling lines, right? And they're kind of random. They're not sort of done in any unique sort of pattern or anything, right? So they just come down his back like so. And the front of his neck will be sort of here, right? So sort of comes in. His, his head is kind of tilted back this way a little bit. So we can see like the jowls, like the underneath of his neck just there. And then the thick side of his neck comes down this way. Right? And then we've all details in here as well. So 
Uh, right, so we got like a line of like spiking sort of detail coming down this way. So, so like sort of scales and spikes and stuff. line like that and there's a line in the middle and we have the top one kind of done but there's like some more coming down here as well Then we have a line coming down the middle of his face as well. So coming down this way. And each of these will have these sorts of scaling lines on the inside, right? So these sort of just texture, vents, reptile, skin. You know, just coming down like this. And I'll just I'll maybe add a bit of a shadow to this middle line, just like make it a bit thicker. Maybe here as well. And we'll just keep adding these lines coming down like that, right? And again, there's like, there's more detail all inside that. Like if we were zoomed up closer to them, we would see way more, but this is probably as much as we can do. All right, and then the spikes on his back, so they're not like, straight or anything they kind of go odd shapes on his back like this all right Make a bigger one there and you can have sort of blue lightning like tree branches sort of growing up inside here. So there's no, you're just sort of trying to make it look like lightning or sort of flame or something in there. Okay, so now, so he's got, he, he usually has gills that come down from like his neck, right? So just coming down sort of this way, right? You'll have a pattern of gills. So we'll go, we'll start about here maybe. And we just sort of come along, bumping along like this, right? And you can have some texture on this as well. Like fish-like gills, that's what we're aiming for. And they kind of get bigger as we go down. You know, and you want them to be sort of wrinkly looking, sort of bumpy looking. So, um, they go kind of all the way down to his shoulder, depending on the kind of design you're aiming for, but generally. And some more blue sort of flame comes out of these as well. 
So just adding a rim line, just like a texture line just here. And then and they sort of curve down into his skin down here. Okay, and then he'll have um, chest armor as well. So like on the front here, so it kind of like comes around like this sort of thing on the front of his chest here. Just sort of armor, scales and things. Coming down, there might be like a skin section like a skin line separating it from the rest here. All right, so something like that anyway. And again, you can have texture and things on this. So sometimes if you make it a line thicker, it'll add a shadow. If you want a shadow, of course. Right, so then his arm and shoulder. So let me just move my image down a little bit. So chest, middle of his chest kind of comes this way. And his shoulder line kind of will go, so a couple of shoulder lines. So he's like, this is like his chest muscle, his collarbone coming across here. And this will join his shoulder, which comes down this way. Kind of bumps in there. So then we could have like chest muscle lines that way. And some more maybe lines just here for his neck muscles coming up around there. And more texture again will help. And down here, then we have, so the other side of his chest. So we got like a line here and then the starts of his arm that come out this way. So they kind of bump around here. And then his arm has to come out of his shoulder here. And then we got like more armor on this arm, kind of similar to this, right? So. This comes all the way out to his hand. Like this. So his claw sort of sticks out here, right? So maybe another piece of armor. And then His claw kind of comes up this way. So we got like a finger. And then a big nail sticking out here. Okay. And then his finger will sort of bend back in to there and like the inside of it like that. And you could have like texture on this. And I think there's like armor on his fingers, like scales on his fingers as well. So, and maybe some that go back all the way nearly back to there. Right, so then inside of his hand, just here, two more claws. So we just bump it out, two bumps. 
and then big nail here. Comes around like so, down to there. There could be like armor stuff on top of this finger as well. If you want, of course, that's optional. And his nail. And then the next finger, just here, comes out down. Smaller sort of nail here. Could be some armor on top. Another line there for the finger. And then this kind of bends and folds into here. And then, so his thumb can't fit it in, so it goes down off this way. Right, so his big thumb is down here. If you have more room, you can feel free to fit that in there, but I just couldn't. Maybe we should see some of his wrist or something just there. And adding more reptile scaly skin. middle of his chest maybe there okay not bad that's pretty much Godzilla right so Ghidorah right so three heads right so one two three so where to begin let's see I guess we'll start with the guy closest to the hand, right? So he's kind of looking up. This one's looking right across, and then this head is looking down. Uh, no, actually, we'll start, with, we'll start with the middle one, just so we don't go too high. Yeah, better idea. Okay. So we'll try and we'll get the middle head in, right? So he's just kind of right across from Godzilla's chin. So, right, we'll start with his brow, right? So... It's kind of like a frowning line. Ticks, comes around, right? This way. And then the eye is underneath that. And again, it's kind of like you want it to be looking sort of up at Godzilla here. So put it top right hand corner of the eye. And I'm going to add some wrinkles and things around that eye in there. So this brow will eventually go all the way back to like a horn spike back here. And this kind of comes back in around down into there. Could have like an extra line down the middle. And then some like texture lines on it. These wrinkles on his brow as well, it eventually becomes just horn back here, so. Right. So then he has like a buzz saw sort of. He's kind of like hair. So <laughs> just comes right across the middle. All the way back to there. And then his brow on the other side. So we got like some extra bumps coming out here. And eventually it'll just come around the back of his head there so then out from here we have his nose and his snout right so 
kind of bumps out like so and then a nostril on top and kind of this sort of pointing shape coming down here with a black nostril on the inside Okay, so then the other side of his nostril. So remember now, if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. Like that. And then this will come down to there. And again, pretty similar to Godzilla, right? We're just going to do his mouth sort of bumping across here. Like so. And this can have like wrinkles and things. Some wrinkles coming under his eye as well. Another sort of shape, kind of like Godzilla, it's this dark sort of shape under there. Okay, so in the side of his mouth, sort of like a fish like, you know, that sort of pink section that dinosaurs and lizards and reptiles have, right? And then his bottom jaw will come down around like that and then we'll add like teeth coming across the top okay so we got like small teeth at the front maybe like a big one here so because they're monsters you know you don't really need to be too particular about he might have a bit of gum or something just there they can be like dragon teeth Large and small, so like, like a piranha or something, you know. Can we see the other side of his teeth? I think we can. So we can see like his gum just coming on the other side of his mouth, just there. And then we'll add some teeth here on the other side as well. Roughly like that. And then... So we'll go down to his bottom jaw, add the teeth in there, and maybe his bottom lip. So his bottom lip is just here, and it curves around. It goes up and under. Like so, it's like elongated. I think we got some spikes coming off his jaw, at the back of his jaw back here. Like that, there could be like some extra ones. On the inside, just these sorts of bone-like structures growing out of his face, okay? So then the teeth along here, right? So this is his chin, and then we got like a big fang here, maybe like some small ones. Coming out this way. And then, so his tongue, kind of like, much like Godzilla here, so it like comes out from the back of his throat, so it's, it's much longer than Godzilla's, so it's like it goes nearly all the way down to the front of his mouth. So, and then the side of his mouth on the other side, over here. We can't see his other teeth either, so just like that. And then like some scaly lines. Some lines just on the bottom jaw.
Right, so then he's got loads more horns, right? So four, well not loads, four more coming down here, right? So, yeah, all right, four, yeah. So coming out from his jaw, so roughly from about the mouth sort of level, it nearly joins the mouth and then comes out like so. And then we bring it back in. Here, it's real spiky on top. Like so, and again, you can have um, like texture lines on it. So, and then another one coming out from his head here. Here, and then another one here. Then the smallest one here. And if you want to make them like kind of 3D looking, you can add a sort of a line running down this and then add texture lines like so. Kind of looks like Sauron from, not Sauron, uh, what's the dragon's name in Lord of the Rings? Uh, Smaug, yeah, Sauron. <laughs> kind of looks like Smaug. This is also how to draw Smaug. Two tutorials in one. <laughs> uh, right, so the back of his neck comes like down here, and we meet the neck for the top guy running this way. But the bottom of, the, of his neck kind of comes out from his jaw. Sort of maybe like a bump here, and then comes down like that and then we have a line coming across here and then we can have like neck armor scales so kind of curving this way we'll just curve them up We'll do the guy down here, so just underneath, and then we'll do the big guy up the top. So, same sort of thing again, just underneath, right? So we'll start with this big frowning line for the horn. So it'll kind of come around his eye, and then back up to the back, and then back in. Down into there. And then his eye, just in there. And we'll add a sneaky sort of straight lined edge eye in there. And we can make this kind of 3D looking. Bring it down into the eye. You can add some bumps and things coming off and then some texture lines just coming around. Okay, and then his snout. Oh wait, his like hair that he has, like a buzz saw haircut, we'll do that first. It's like a fin that goes up the middle of his head. And then his other horn that comes back this way. 
it goes out off the back of my page there it goes pretty long it's like the other guys one up here and then we'll give it just a line for shape just there and then texture all coming down like so and like that then so we got that sort of section underneath his eye these sort of bumps and eyelid lines and things all there and then his snout comes out the front comes up around the top and down okay we're getting there what time are we at 36 okay all right let's go keep going All right, so bottom lip comes down around, top lip, sorry, comes down around here. And then we have his nostril just inside here, kind of like a raindrop shape. And you can have some, like, some bumps and things around it. Maybe another bump for the other side of his nose. And he's got like some scales and things on his gum line. Kind of thing and then teeth so wait, yeah teeth how are they at the front kind of small at the front maybe one big one just there and then they get kind of more spaced out as we go back right and then We'll go side of his mouth, fin thing, just here, and then his bottom jaw come down across here, like so. And then this will curve around Then we add teeth. So I think we can see some of the teeth that go back on the other side behind his tongue. So his tongue will rig long tongue again. Kind of a snake like. It's like behind his teeth. So we got to draw in his teeth first. So it like this one like kind of sticks up through a pointy. So and then bottom of his jaw. This one he he has like a spike on his jaw. Well, this guy does too. Missed that. Uh, there and then kind of comes back like this and then we add sort of spikes and things as we go back this way and we'll add a bit of texture to them Right, so what I mean by texture is you just do a line down the middle and then you make it look like it's kind of growing out of his face by uh, giving them an end, you know, this kind of thing. Like so, so just making them look like they're pyramids, I guess, or that's the kind of shape we're going for anyway. You can add this kind of detail to dragons and reptile creatures like this. You can add it all day. You know, it's like there's no end to the detail on them. So you just got to decide yourself when enough is enough, you know. That kind of 
thing. Sorry, that was my knuckle. Oh. Okay, so another horn. We'll bring it back this way. Bring it back into here. Underneath, like so. We'll give it sort of a texture line or something here. And then more sort of bumps and ridges on it. As much of this as you want, you can add. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just giving a texture. And then two more. So we'll go back this way, back into there. And then the third one is the smallest one. Comes back this way. And then we'll give them sort of a line there and maybe down the middle of this one. All right, and then this needs texture as well. So just these lines that follow the shape, you know, of the horn. So they don't have to be the same on each one, you know, they can be, they can be different. The brain, the, like the people looking at it sort of just, it fades away and they just see a dragon horn, you know, but the texture sort of just gives it a little extra detail. Right, roughly like that. I think we can see like the other side of his mouth or something here. And can we, where's his neck? So his neck should come out. Can we see his neck? Not really. So that guy's neck is here. It goes in underneath this horn. In there somewhere. So then this guy's neck may be Maybe you can see a bit of it there, but not much, and a bit back this way. There could be like some texture on his neck there. Um, and then we can see the Ghidorah in the background, the body here, and this has like armor coming across here, right? So that's the big, so this is the big body. So it goes snaking around all the way up to the other guy's jaw. So it goes like, up like here. And then the, the back of that is here. This is this one seems to have spikes on it for some reason. All right, so this one has spikes and or, you know, just this kind of detail. The others don't seem to, but maybe they should. Then he's line coming up the center here. Like so, and then armor plating all the way, right? So like this kind of stuff. Right, so it's best to start sort of at the bottom and then work your way up, so. So I'll just add these lines first, just so we. Right, and then I'll just make them sort of overlap one another. So like this, adding a curve line at the bottom.
Right, so, roughly. Right, like that. So then, that guy's head is like here, right? So it comes out from his neck and his jaw here. So, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see. Right. So, so we've got like, so where's his frown? Where's the top horn on his head? So like here somewhere. We got to just to line it up, I guess, with here. We'll we'll start with the jaw, just to so like add the spikes for his jaw. He's like a small horn there, and then another one coming out here. So one, two, three, back in. And then a bigger one here. Up off the page, comes back in. So that's kind of this one that goes in towards his eye, right? And then this guy, big one, we'll go back here. And then this one comes down across. So this is the brow one now. Right, so this is the eyebrow one here. So if you have more room, you could just finish that off the top, but I don't. So, and then we'll give it another line, just here and like some frown lines and stuff like this. And then his eye is just in underneath, right? So his eye, right in there, and he's sort of looking down that way. And we'll give him that sort of section just here, and then some eyelid texture. Like that, and you know, we'll add some texture onto the horns as well. All the way up this way, and this like comes in underneath his eye some more sort of lines, texture lines on it. And we'll give this like a line coming down here. And some texture. Diagonal lines going the whole way up the horn. And you can do as much of this as you want. Do the same on these guys. Right, so then his snout, so we'll bring it down the front and around his nostril, down towards Godzilla's face. And then it curves around again, around for his teeth, sort of a bumping line. Comes down the back. And then at the bottom of his mouth, this way, comes down here. This way, underneath, 
for his jaw here. And this has more spikes and things on it, which we will make sort of detailed like these guys. But first we'll finish like his teeth up here. So uh, his nostril, like a spike just here, and you can add you know, like extra lines just around it. And he might have some bumps and scales and stuff on his nose. Just adding some texture lines like this. Then teeth, All right? So kind of small up here, a bit bigger as we go down, and then they get kind of smaller and more spaced out as we go back. And then we have this skin line thing back here. can't see his gum. I don't think we can anyway, just back here, but I'll draw maybe a little shadow of it just underneath. And then his teeth along this edge. Tongue again, like real long. So the tongue just there. And we can see just kind of the underneath side of it. Maybe some like teeth on the other side. Back there somewhere. And maybe like the other side of his mouth, like so. And what do we need to do? Right, we can see a wing. Uh, yeah, the wing like is in underneath back here. Oh, and we forgot his like buzzsaw like head. So we got like frown line back here and his head, like buzzy hair, like this sort of thing again. Like that, and I think we can see maybe another horn along the back. So this wing then comes across there. Down behind this. And it has like a hook or something here. So Ghidorah has like big wings on either side. So that's what this is, right? Um, But I think that's pretty much it. That's how to draw Godzilla versus Ghidorah. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to finish his jaw. <laughs> I'm back. Um, forgot to just add these details to his jaw. And then we're pretty much done. So, like, just these sorts of spikes. And some details just to his skin on his bottom lip here as well.
right now we're done okay thanks for watching guys and of course like you can add like blue lightning and all that kind of stuff and yellow from Ghidorah hope it was helpful see you in the next one